Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today's video, I wanted to create a full makeup look with the new palette that I got Diododer from Superdrug and it's the palette by Soft Daz Nail in collaboration with Makeup Revolution and Soft Daz Nail has a YouTube channel here and um, let me tell you, when I'm gonna open this palette, you're gonna understand why I had to have this palette. Are you ready? Ta-da! Look at this beautiful palette. Look at this shade. It's when I saw this palette, I was like, oh my God, I need this palette in my life. It's just every single shade in this palette is just stunning. I love the color selection. I love that this palette can be versatile. You can do day, you can do night makeup look, you can do even some occasion makeup look. You have matte, you have shimmery shades, you have warm you have cool tone you have everything you need to create the perfect eye makeup look i just love this palette and let me tell you today was the first time i was using this palette so it was a bit like a first impression and the shadow are super pigmented the shadow are amazing and they blend so well together they blend like a dream and seriously this palette cost only 10 pounds from super drug it's a steal and when you see the selection of the shade you are like this this is beautiful and what inspired me this look today is this shade right here which is called was like okay i need to create a look around this pumpkin shades and because we are in fall and autumn i wanted something warm on the eyes very orangey and pumpkin-ish on the lips so this is what i came up with and if you want to see how this palette performed and how i created this makeup look for fall just keep on watching so let's start off by applying some lip balm with the tony moly lip balm honey and to prime the face, I'm using the Ultra Matte Face Fit by L'Occitane and I like this primer because it moisturizes and rebalances the skin. For foundation, I'm using two foundations today. The first one is the Baby Glow Meteoroid by Guerlain and the second one is the one by Nars and is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I'm mixing them together because the Guerlain is a bit too light for me and has a pink undertone and the Nars one is really good because it has a great coverage. And for concealer, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer Cream in the shade M21 Neutral. It has a really good coverage and uh, it has also a pink undertone, so it's nice to brighten the under eye area as well. And I still need to um, set my uh, under eye with this concealer because it does settle a little bit into the fine lines. And about the powder I'm using is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazon and Clay Pressed Finishing Powder and I really like this powder because it really does mattify and brightening at the same time. And for contouring I'm using a powder blush by MAC and it is the Harmony Matte Finishing Powder Blush and it's really a nice powder to contour with because it has the right undertone, not too cold, not too warm, it's really the perfect contour shade. And to warm up the face, I'm using two bronzers today. The first one is the Sweet As Cocoa Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush by MAC. It's a really great bronzer, a shimmery bronzer that really gonna give that sun-kissed effect. And the second one is a drugstore bronzer by B Sun-Kissed Bronzing Powder. And it's a nice matte bronzer to warm up the face as well. And for the blush, I wanted to stay in a neutral side, so I choose to apply Baby Love by Too Faced. It's a really pretty blush. And for the highlight, I'm using the shade Selfie from the Highlight Palette by Lip and Fab. And I love this palette so much because you've got all the highlight shade you need. And this one is really beautiful. And for my eye base, I'm using the Color Tattoo 24 Hours in the shade Creamy Matte. And here's the star of the show, the palette with 24 eyeshadow which are beautiful, insanely beautiful. And I'm gonna start off this eye look with Iced Coffee, which is a light brown shade. Then I'm using Copper Tea, which is gonna deepen up a little bit my transition. And then I'm using Tiramisu, which is a medium brown shade. I love that shade so much. Then I'm blending, blending, blending. And then I'm using Peaches to just make it all together seamlessly and 
then we'll have a really nice base to start my whole eye look then I'm using the star of this eye look which is pumpkin a beautiful orange shade then I'm using cloud berry just to make this look a little bit more orangey and then to finish off this look I'm using grow old which is a very intense shimmery gold shade I love that shade so much but you need to replay it more and more to make it very intense and then for my lower lash line I'm using the same shade that I used for my eye and uh, yeah and then for my inner corner I'm reusing and reapplying my selfie shade for my highlight palette then for my waterline I'm using Scandalize by Rimmel which is a nude eye pencil and for my lash line I'm using the retractable eyeliner in the shade bronze by NYX and I'm using it on my upper lash line but also on my inner lash line just to make my lashes fuller then for my brow I'm using my NYX micro brow pencil in the shade brunette and to set that brow I'm using my brow artist plumber by L'Oréal you know the drill easy peasy and then for the mascara I'm using the Paradise Ecstatic Mascara and I love that mascara so much it makes my lashes so voluminous so beautiful I love that mascara so much and then the other star of the show it's that lipstick by Nars and it's the velvet matte lip pencil in the shade Iberico it's a beautiful warm orange shade I feel like it's the perfect pumpkin lip color and to finish off the look I'm setting my face with the insta fix and go and there you go guys this is the final makeup look I hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give a thumbs up to share and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye Mwah.